Hey dolls, my name is Anastasia Lulu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have been working in the beauty industry for the last five years, and I have always loved YouTube. I love YouTube videos, I love makeup tutorials, I love product reviews, I love it all. And so especially in this past year, I have just totally fallen back in love with YouTube. So I just thought what an amazing opportunity to kind of get involved with this community that I love so much. So I'm so excited about this journey and I just thank each and every one of you for kind of joining me and supporting me. I feel really excited and I hope that you guys like my videos that I have in store. So for today, I am creating this look with you guys. Um, I did intend for this to be like a natural makeup look, but this is pretty much as natural as I get, but I hope you guys like it anyway. And while this channel will be definitely makeup focused, um, I also have another side that I'm so passionate about. I am totally into crystals and energy and manifesting and talking about what is happening in the universe and what our feelings are. Like I just, I love it. I love all of that. So I really want to also create a space where we can talk about some deep I don't know if I can swear on YouTube. Hmm. Anyway, I also want to talk to you guys about kind of life girly chats because that is definitely what I'm missing in this quarantine and lockdown. So I thought we could begin this video before we get into my tutorial um, with an affirmation and a crystal. So today I have with me my amethyst crystal. She's so cute. Can you see it? I'm going to have to get used to this YouTube focus. Thing. So for those of you who don't know, an amethyst represents tranquility and calmness and it is a really, really amazing crystal for those suffering with any kind of like anxiety or um, stress in their life. And I am going to read you an affirmation. I am a magnet for positivity, abundance, and blessings. My mind is focused and I am ready to receive positive outcomes from the universe. I visualize my dream life and watch as it manifests into my reality. Instantly that makes me feel like so calm, so centered, and a lot less anxious. Okay, so enough crystals and positive energy. Let's get to the good stuff and get into this makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I always start any glam with my Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I wear the shade Tan. I just think this creates such a gorgeous dewy base for before your foundation. So I just apply that on the high points of the skin and then I just blend that in. I'm using a Real Techniques brush. It doesn't have a name and it's kind of old, but it is like my favorite brush. Because we are doing a more natural glam, I am going to apply my liquid highlight underneath my foundation. This is such a good trick to creating a more naturally glowy base. Now I do work for Iconic London. I am their social media manager. But I do just adore their products. I rarely go a day without popping on my illuminator. It's just the most gorgeous liquid highlight and it looks so beautiful on the skin underneath foundation and over foundation. Okay, now that that is all blended, I am going to go and take my favorite foundation, which is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am the shade Stromboli in the winter. Um, it is a tiny bit light for me, so I am going to warm it up with these de-bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops whatever the hell that means, from Drunk Elephant. Um, this is just a really great way to kind of warm up your foundation if you kind of are in between shades. Um, I just always have to have one because I find that I'm kind of in between shades. So I'm gonna mix that all in with my brush and just apply to the skin. We are really focusing on a sheer coverage. So now that I have blended a lot of that in with my favorite foundation brush, I am actually then going to go in with a beauty sponge, a damp beauty sponge, and continue to press that in. This just really helps make the foundation 
looks so seamless. Using a beauty sponge just picks up any excess product so that it makes your skin not look cakey or like you're wearing a lot of makeup. You want that real skin finish. Okay, so now that my base is all applied, I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. I use the Iconic London Seamless Concealer in the shade Beige. Now, I'm actually not going to go in and apply it under my eyes just yet. I'm actually going to apply it just to my eyelids to prep my eyes for a little bit of eyeshadow. So I just take a flat concealer brush. This is the MAC 287. It is such a good concealer brush. And I'm going to just pat that product into my eye. Into my eyelid, not into my eye. That would not be comfy or cute. Okay, so now that my eyelids are primed, I am gonna go in with my favorite, favorite, favorite powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It is so gorgeous. It literally makes your skin look like Facetune in real life. So I am actually just gonna take a little bit onto a fluffy brush like that and apply that all over the lid, setting where my concealer is. I'm not gonna take my concealer under the eye yet because I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow and then clean it up using concealer. You'll see what I mean. I'm actually gonna reach for my bronzing powder. Now this is such a good little hack for creating kind of seamless, natural makeup. A masterclass I went to with work was Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, Makeup by Ariel, and he said one of his favorite hacks for giving Kylie kind of like a natural, monochromatic beat is to use the same bronzer that he uses on her face for her eyes. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and use this bronzer to create a really natural kind of contour and shadow on my eyes. So I'm gonna take a MAC fluffy brush, I think this is the MAC 217, and I'm going to go in and generously apply this to my lid. We are buffing that into the crease and dragging it kind of down on the lid. Adding this subtle definition into your crease really makes your eyes pop. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so now that my bronzer is evenly applied on my eyes, I am going to take a brown liner and give myself the tiniest wing. So I'm gonna first apply it underneath my lash line. Now, if you get a little bit squeamish, maybe skip this step. But I think it really helps kind of define your eyes. And I'm literally going under that lash line. Okay, next I'm going to just apply the brown liner onto my lash line. I'm gonna stop just over halfway across my eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna start my wing. Slowly but surely is the way. And just draw that line out. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going back in and we're gonna fix it with our concealer. Okay, now that that wing is looking kind of cute, we're gonna try and match it on the other side. Oh, and for my eyeliner, I am actually just using Max Factor's Cole Pencil in brown. Okay, now that we have the wings where we want them, I am going to go in with my under eye concealer. Okay, it seems a little bit crazy to start with your base and then go to your eyes and then go back to your base, but trust the process because this is the only way to get your wings like snatched. So reach for that concealer and let's go under those eyes. 
So I actually do my concealer a little bit different these days. I used to do it where I applied big triangles of concealer under the eyes. And I've actually found that that weighs my face down. It really draws attention to kind of the center of my face, right? Because I'm putting so much lightness there. Whereas if you actually concentrate the concealer to the points of your face that lift and sculpt your face rather than drag it down, it makes such a difference. Let me stop trying to explain what I'm talking about and let me just show you. I apply a little bit in my innermost corner. That's where I get the most darkness. A tiny bit on my under my lash line. And then I apply a good bit right there. This will just lift that face. Literally like Bella Hadid, we're coming for you, okay? That is what we want. You look a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie, but it makes a difference. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. But we're not done looking crazy just yet. I'm also going to apply a little bit around my nose because I get some discoloration there and I also again we're lifting the whole face I love how this is like my natural look okay this is like my natural makeup routine but I swear to god it is so it's all about me so I'm just gonna go like this you have to wait a few more minutes to get the concealer to really warm up with your skin. So obviously your face is a warm temperature and that helps warm up the product and make it really easy for blending. So I never go in right away. I'm letting it sit, I'm letting it marinate, which is a disgusting word to describe this right now, but we're going with it. Um, and then I'm gonna blend. I'm taking the same flat concealer brush from MAC and pressing it into the skin. Now this is where we clean that wing up. Like shaky hands who? You can't even tell I've had about six coffees today. And once that is like 70% blended, I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and keep pressing that product in. Right away, the face is looking so much more lifted. I'm gonna blend on the other side. Okay, so now that my concealer is applied, I'm gonna bring some color back into this face and go in with my Iconic London Sheer Blush. I use the shade Fearless Flush and it is so gorgeous. I just squirted some out onto my trousers, so. I am just obsessed with liquid blush at the minute. A tiny bit goes such a long way. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger at first, and it looks kind of scary, but trust me, it blends out so sheer and so beautiful. Again, we're really focusing the product on the high points of the face, so that that's where we're drawing the eyes. We don't wanna draw the eyes here. We want to make that face snatched. And then I'm gonna blend that in with another Real Techniques brush. I just use these padding motions to make it melt into the skin. And I also always put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Now that I am done using liquid products, I am gonna go back in with that Charlotte Tilbury powder. This powder, I just, I know I've already talked about it, but it's so good. It's seriously life-changing. So I'm gonna take a flat brush and then just press it under my eyes. I use the shade medium to medium. And I find it works so well on my skin tone and I never get any flashback. And I apply this powder anywhere that I get a little bit too shiny. I am going to warm my face up using that same bronzer. This is the Iconic London Ultimate Bronzing Powder in Warm Bronze. I love these bronzers. I mean, I'm basically using all Iconic, but I just love them. I love, love, love our products. I am going to go in where I would contour, but with my bronzer. So we're skipping the contour step. 
all about natural, you know me. So instead, we're gonna do it with bronzer. So I'm just gonna sweep that kind of under the cheekbone and really blend that in. And because I have definitely gained a few quarantine pounds, we are going to try and snatch that double chin. I don't know if there is enough bronzer in the world or contour in the world for this job, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so now that I look slightly less dead, we are going back in on the eyes with the same bronzer. I am grabbing a kind of more flat, fluffy brush and I am going to bring the same color underneath my waterline. Again, this just gives like a really like soft, blown out, natural look. And I love this, like, I mean, should we ever go traveling ever again? I love um, using my bronzer as eyeshadow because it just means one less thing for me to carry. Like, oh, forgot my eyeshadow palette or whatever. No worries, as long as I've got a bronzer, I can make it work. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that Max Factor Coal Pencil in brown and apply on my waterline. And then we go back in and blend. So to fill in my eyebrows, I am gonna use the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. This product is super cool because it's not like a pomade, it's not a pencil, it's just like this squishy, cool sponge that has wet product that dries down completely matte. And I just love it for my brows, it works so well. I'm gonna just take an angled brush, this is from Iconic, and I'm gonna go super lightly in with my brows and just fill in any sparse hairs. So what I like to do is I like to kind of go underneath the brow and define that line. I think that instantly makes such a difference for me. And then I just fill in the strokes. And then I just take a little spoolie and brush that product through. This way there's no harsh lines and everything looks super natural. Guys, I am dying that this is my natural glam. I just feel like I either don't wear makeup or I wear makeup. Like I don't normally do like a no makeup makeup because then I would just not wear makeup. This is my attempt anyway, so here we go. Okay, so before we go in with the mascara and maybe a lash, because who doesn't love a natural glam with a lash, I am going to spritz my face with Prep Set Glow Spray. I just love, 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 love this spray. I think it makes your skin look super pretty, super dewy, and it smells really good. So I'm gonna give this a spritz. Okay, so I am gonna go in with my telescopic mascara. This mascara is seriously so amazing. It's just from L'Oreal. It is unreal. Let me just show you guys. This wand literally grabs each individual lash and just makes it so long, so black, and just so amazing. So because this mascara makes your lashes so long, I got some on my eyelid, but it's no stress, no panic. You just wait for it to dry down completely. Take like a spoolie and just pick the mascara off. Once it's dried, it'll just pop off no problem. So for my bottom lashes, I'm actually gonna go in with Maybelline's Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. I do love this mascara as well but the telescopic one just has truly taken my heart. Next, I'm gonna go in with my everyday lip combo, which is my Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown Lip Liner and my Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. So I always slightly overdraw my lips because obviously, and I just love this brown shade. 
I actually don't mind when there's a little bit of like concealer or foundation on my lips because it takes some of the pinkness out of my natural lip color so that I can get that more of like a brownie nude that I really like. So there you guys have it. I am going to pop on a lash and zhuzh my hair and show you the final look. Hey dolls, here is my finished look. I just popped on a little corner lash to tie the whole glam together. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am so excited to start this YouTube journey and any and all feedback would just be amazing. So if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like to see next, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, I am just so excited and I can't wait to create more videos for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.